Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about this crazy one stand studio setup that I built here. It is pretty easy to move around and it doesn't occupy that much space. All I have is the camera and a microphone and light all mounted on a single rolling stand that makes it easier to press record and start creating content. So let me show you what this entire breakdown is. So this is the single stand that I have. Ignore this light because outside is pretty bright. So I wanted to have some light that is inside. So the main item here is an impact stand on a wheel roller. So I can move it around easily. For time being, I have tucked this in a corner so it takes less space. So the main camera that is sitting on this extension arm, which is impact BHE 106. Again, I'll put all the items link in the description below. You can check it out. So that's an extension arm coming out of a clamp. And then I have the Lumix camera, which is sitting on a easy to take out contraption. So just easy to put in there because if I need to change the battery, everything comes in the way. So I wanted something that is easily detachable. And to the camera is connected the zoom. This is the H6 handy recorder. And there is a line out coming here that is connected to the mic. And the zoom itself is connected to the Rode NTG4 Plus shotgun microphone. So the mic when I'm standing here, it is actually closest to me so I can talk and it captures pretty good audio. And then that is on a, a regular, this is a Samsung mic, mic stand, the stand that goes on the floor, but I Velcroed it here. So you can see there are a lot of Velcros that holds this microphone stand onto the C stand here. And it does a great job. I can always, if I wanted to have a tighter fit so that it doesn't move around. So that's that. Covering it all is a, edge battery the reason i use the edge battery is because so it has usb connection so i can plug in the zoom h6 recorder and the camera if i needed to and then it in the front there is a screen that shows the remaining charge so typically it runs for three hour until the next charge and the light that i'm using here this is a falcon eyes falcon eyes light and uh, the good thing with this it it's so lightweight and also controller here at the back it has a v mount so i can power this light up just by the v mount option battery so the battery is powering up the light and then it also gives me additional usb c connections that hangs in there so from the zoom recorder, I can connect this plug into the USB-C here. And that way this gets powered up. So the light is powered with the battery. The zoom at six is powered with the battery. And as a mic NTG4 needs um, power through the zoom at six. So that has been taken care. Ideally, if I wanted to, I have one more USB-C through which I can power the camera. So this camera has an option to power using the USB-C. So I can do that. So yeah, that's a pretty good setup of uh, mic light. So I have audio here, these two, the microphone itself and the Zoom H6, which takes the XLR input of the shotgun. And the camera for video, I'm using the Lumix s5 mark ii with the 18 millimeter f 1.8 lens uh, from lumix and this falcon eyes light so i have lighting video and audio all in just one stand which is tucked all the way in the corner and i can turn on the camera right here and then start recording so it's that easy right now it doesn't have a memory card but otherwise it's all ready to go in one single shot so there you have it guys pretty easy setup and most importantly it is pretty lightweight setup so i'm pretty happy with this all right guys so when it is all set up correctly this is how it looks like i have the key light here the sound 
and the camera ready to go. And the whole idea is that to make it as simple as possible to start recording and as lightweight and as tiny as possible so it doesn't take up so much time. You don't have to set it up each time you want to record and lightweight because you can easily move it around. So if you get bored of one particular scene, then you can turn it around to shoot new frames or new locations so that's the idea right now everything is set up in a way that i can just come here stand and press record yeah, that makes it more one step more closer to recording something rather than not doing anything at all i hope you guys enjoyed this video or learned one or two new things and if you did give it a like again i'll put all the parts items in the description below so you can check the link out and if you have any question on how i set up anything particular that you did not catch from the video let me know in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer all right and i'll see you in the next one take care bye